that's what I'm playing. I can just feel the vibrations through the neck as well. So that's really promising. <laughs> So this is a giant box that I have in my lap. Can I balance it? Yes. Here we go. Hello everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. If you're new here, hi, my name is Katie. I am a guitar voice and ukulele teacher here on YouTube. I have a lot of free lessons here on YouTube and I also have my own private studio. I also make gear review videos and today I have something from Cordoba and I'm really excited to unbox it for you following FTC guidelines. This guitar, I almost said ukulele because I review a lot of ukuleles. This guitar was sent to me as a PR sample, but this video is not sponsored. The link in the description box below is also not affiliated, but if that does change, I will change that in the description box below. But as of right now, not receiving any kickback, just want to open this up and get my first impressions. First impression of the bag. Well constructed, nice thick padding, not cheap, like that. Whoa! Now that color is beautiful. Look at that color. <laughs> it's so light. I'm surprised. I don't know why I'm surprised, but I'm surprised that it's so light. Wow. This is the protege C1 Matisse in coral. In their words, it's a fresh take on the traditional aesthetic of the nylon guitar. The Matisse series combines maple accents and traditional tone woods in four colors, aqua, coral, pale sky, and classic blue. It has a spruce top, mahogany neck back and sides, a maple head plate, bridge, and full scale fretboard to give the C1 Matisse an all new look with a lively tone and response according to them. It has a satin polyurethane finish on top, which provides a layer of protection against nicks and scratches. The rosette is what they call a ghost rosette, which is a print rosette, but it's designed after the traditional wood rosette. It does have a dual action truss rod, so you can adjust the action. It includes a color matching gig bag, and it's made of recycled nylon. The tuning machine buttons are pearl white. It has 12 frets on the body, a maple head plate, a 22 millimeter nut string spacing, and it weighs three pounds and three ounces. The nut width is 52 millimeters and the neck thickness from the first fret is 21 millimeters, while the neck thickness on the ninth fret is 23 millimeters. All right, let's look at the case for a second. Before we move on to you, you're really pretty. You are very pretty, where's my guitar stand? Let's take a look at the case a little bit more. When something comes with a gig bag, I do inspect the gig bag quite a bit because some gig bags are great. Some gig bags are really terrible. I've seen the whole gamut. Believe me, I have. I love it when they have the neck cradle. I'm seeing that more and more in ukulele cases and guitar cases as well. That's a really nice detail. The neck cradle, it just really supports the neck, keeps it from slipping and sliding within the case. And it also has something to secure the neck to this portion and then you can move it, you can adjust it. And then this, I love it also when uh, guitar companies think of the little details like this and then this right here, because you know, when you change your strings, sometimes you have like little bits of the strings that are poking out. It's going to rip a hole through your gig bag. This is just going to take an extra, uh, it's an extra layer of protection to just keep the case intact that much longer. Have I seen holes rip through things like this over time? Yeah, but it takes a lot longer than if it were just going to rip through this little piece of nylon because you just need one little snag and whoop, Pandora's box. Flexible handle. Yeah, so it's not gonna cut into your fingers as you carry it. The guitar's not heavy anyway, but still nice detail. I like it when they have little hooks like this because then you can actually hang it on a door and it's not going to be uneven. There we go. There's something where if you set it down on the floor, you're not gonna hear a ding. Oh, I hate that sound. I really do. It makes me cringe. Let's see if I could put this to the side. Currently, I'm very pregnant right now. So <laughs> I have to pull this to the side. It's a very interesting feeling when you play an instrument and the baby goes <laughs> against the side. It's pretty, 
it's a pretty wild feeling. <laughs> Normally you would shift it over here, play this a little bit more upright. It's a little bit different position than you would a steel, but you could still play it. Oh. <laughs> the entire body is just vibrating. Ah, and the neck too, that's promising. that's what I look for when I think about a guitar and I think about just the overall resonance of the instrument and um, how that you know when you play a note or when you play a chord how long does it take for that note or chord to decay after you play it so far that's just just, just the first couple of notes that I'm playing I can just feel the vibrations through the neck as well. There's just a richness, there's a depth to it. And I, it's been a while since I've played a, a guitar with nylon strings. Thus far, everything seems to be very, very, very pretty. And also the intonation on the lower part of the neck seems to be consistent with the upper part of the neck. But as my first impression, it's lovely. And it's priced at $219. That's such a nice price point and including the gig bag. I really like that. I really enjoy the fact that companies are starting to really understand the customer and the consumer and what they would find important. I can't tell you how many times when I've taught over, you know, since 2008, yeah, it's been, that's a long time. So <laughs> since 2008, how many of my students have come in with instruments they bought the instrument, but there's no gig bag. I do think that it is beautifully finished for the price point that it is. There's some little details just trying to keep everything uh, together and make it cohesive yet durable and affordable. That can be really, really tricky to do. The neck profile does differ than that of a standard acoustic guitar or a guitar with steel strings. So you do have to note that. This is a classical guitar. The neck profile is going to be wider than that of a steel guitar. So you do have to take note of that. Sometimes people don't really know the difference between the two. And so you really do have to do your research and figure out what kind of sound are you looking for? What kind of guitar are you looking for? And what overall styles are you wanting to play? I'm not saying that you'd be limited by a classical guitar, but you may find yourself a little bit surprised by the neck profile if that's not what you're expecting. I wanna say thank you to Cordoba for sending me this instrument to share this with you guys and also just to be able to get your feedback on it. I'm really looking forward to playing it and getting to know the instrument a little bit more, giving more of an update. Let me know if you'd be curious as to see an update video on just uh, basically 
a, a piggyback off of my first impressions because you know I like to be as thorough as I possibly can. But you also know that my favorite part of YouTube is hearing from you. What are your thoughts about it, about the price, the, the, the sound, just the overall design, you know, go online, look at the different colors. You just give some feedback because it's really nice to hear what you have to say. I learn from you so much. And uh, yes, you are my favorite part of YouTube. It's hearing from you. Okay. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Bye.